Namaste, welcome to my YouTube channel The Chubby Girl. I am Arpita Geji and a big shout out to one of my subscribers, Tanaz Hullur, the one who made this beautiful channel intro, the one you just saw and I'm so happy for it. Thank you so much, means a lot. So coming to this video, this video will be for all the makeup beginners. I'll be sharing some tips and tricks and even some information on makeup products. Before starting this video, I just want to tell you that girls, in whichever complexion you are, dark, medium or fair, you all are just beautiful. There is a saying, right? Inner beauty is more important than outer beauty. That is 101% correct. Because if you don't feel confident from the inside, whichever thousand products you use on your face that will not look good so i suggest you to feel confident all the time and lots of love from my side so without wasting any more time let's get into the video if you're wearing makeup or no makeup there are three important things you should always know about your skin the first one is which skin type am i uh, basically, there are five types, normal skin, oily skin, dry skin, combination skin and sensitive skin. Out of these five, which skin type am I? You should know that. The second one is which undertone? There are three basically, cool undertone, neutral undertone and warm undertone. Out of these three undertone, which undertone am I? These two are very important for any person to buy any products. And we have that very bad habit like if one of my friend is using so and so product we will also use this without knowing which skin type or anything we'll just use that product. It's a very bad habit of all of us. So the third one will be the usage of good brand products. Automatically if you're using good brand it will blend very easily and it will look good on your skin. If you don't know how to know my skin type or which undertone am I? Comment down below. I'll just make a separate video on that. How to know your skin type and how to know your undertone. So let's start the beginner's makeup. So before applying any makeup, have a habit of washing your face. For that, I'll suggest you to use a good face wash. There are different types of face wash available in market, but I'll suggest you to use these three. The first one will be the Himalaya face wash, which is suitable for all skin types. The next one will be the Nivea Milk Delights. I suggest this because they have different range of uh, face wash for different skin types which is one of the plus point the next one will be the lacme blush and glow which is my personal choice i use kiwi crush in this this exactly smells like kiwi and uh, you will get uh, peach strawberry and lemon crush in this so i have just washed my face with this lacme blush and glow kiwi crush so the next step is to apply a moisturizer which is one of the important step and you should never skip because moisturizer will hydrate your skin and this will be the first product you are applying on your skin. So this is very important. So for any dry combination and normal skin, I suggest you to use this Pond's light moisturizer and for any oily or uh, sensitive skin, I suggest to use this Patanjali aloe vera gel. Even this will act as primer for all the skin types. So I'll just apply this uh, Pond's light moisturizer now. After applying moisturizer, leave it for 30 seconds. The next step is to apply any foundation or any BB or CC cream. For foundation, I'll suggest you to use this Maybelline Fit Me 1. If you're using any BB or CC cream, I'll suggest you to use this Lacme 9 to 5 CC cream. The difference between any foundation or BB cream is that foundation will give you an complete coverage whereas any CC or BB cream will give you a light coverage. If you are a beginner, I'll suggest you to use this Lacme 9 to 5. This is the best product for beginners. So I'm in the shade bronze. 
uh, you will get even beige bronze honey and almond honey and almond are for some darker skin tone if you are a fair or a medium skin type then use this bronze or beige so i am using lakme 9 to 5 cc cream in the complexion bronze so i am applying this now always have a habit of taking the product on your hand then applying on your skin if you are applying directly on your skin that will not give you an exact quantity so yeah applying cc cream next step is to apply any compact powder or loose powder i am using maybelline fit me one which is matte plus poreless powder i am in the shade light ivory and even you can use this maybelline new york white super fresh i am in the shade shell for this so i'll just apply now you have to just tap should not always drag like this you have to just tap applying compact powder the next step is to fill in your eyebrows if you don't want to invest money in that then you you can use this kajal pencil and any angled brush so i'm using a lakme iconic kajal so just take angled brush and just dab like this and fill in it always start from the middle of your eyebrow Can you see the difference? After filling up the eyebrows, the next step is to apply any eye shadow. So I'm using the Huda Beauty palette here. Uh, I'm using uh, lace. I'm just uh, taking my finger and I'm just applying this. After applying eyeshadow the next step is to apply eyeliner for that i am using lakme instant eyeliner so so uh, always fill this eyeliner from the middle of your lid so After applying eyeliner if you want your eyes to look little bold then you can apply kajal for that i'm using lakme iconic kajal again the next step is to apply mascara for that i'm using this maybelline hyper curl mascara After applying mascara the next step is to apply the lipstick for that i'm using oriflame color box in the shade burgundy After lipstick i like to apply blush on my cheeks for that if you don't want to invest money on blush you can use your lipstick has blush so that for that you just take any lipstick of your choice and put on your fingers like this and you just mix and apply on your cheeks like this
is how it turned out and I really liked it. So that's all about this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and share with your friends. And huh, don't forget to hit that like button and comment down below. I'll be linking down my Instagram handle in the description box so that you can follow me there. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Until then, bye.